हेलो एंड वेलकम डियर प्रोफेशनल्स लर्नर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स टू द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑन डिजोल्यूशन टेस्टिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ डिजोल्यूशन इन द वेरियस स्टेजेस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट एंड वाई देर इज अ मच importance of dissolution testing in the product development for the drug to be available from the oral route the doses from like tablet or capsule or the oral doses from like solution suspensions these all are required to be first dissolved and then get permeated through the gi membrane and then the drug is available for the biological or therapeutic action so the stages of the dissolution are drug release from the doses forms then these doses form after disintegration will release the drug the drug will get solubilized in the gi fluids then the drug is available in the soluble form in the gastrointestinal tract and then it will be absorbed through intestine so there is a stage of intestinal absorption or you may call it as permeation and the permeated drug will reach the systemic circulation and the drug will be bioavailable the drug bioavailability is dependent on the dissolution of the doses form that's why the dissolution testing is the performance test for oral doses forms and this dissolution testing is very very important for development of the different formulations see whenever the drug is swallowed or ingested in the form of doses form if we consider tablet doses form or capsule doses form mainly the formulation will disintegrate and drug is released after this drug release the drug gets solubilized and it is absorbed from the intestine and then the drug is available for its systemic action that's why dissolution testing is much more important throughout the life cycle of the product and dissolution test is the product performance test it is very specific to the doses form and every product should have a specific dissolution testing condition and the dissolution specifications because as we have seen the dissolution governs the bioavailability then the dissolution testing is much more important in all the drug development stages or you may say the product development life cycle its importance starts from r&d then technology transfer then commercial production or you may say routine manufacturing also in the site transfer activity in bioever and whenever the product has some changes as a life cycle approach that's why dissolution testing is a much more important testing in all the stages of product development and product life cycle so one by one we will see dissolution is critical for bioavailability thus dissolution development is very critical dissolution directly have impact on the bioavailability that's why it becomes very much important testing for oral formulations dissolution is also used for the assessment of api if you are developing a new type of api or nc or nme that means new chemical entity or new molecular entity 
first of all the tentative formulation is developed and it is checked for dissolution and based on that the api is screened or tested based on the dissolution considering polymorphic form particle size or salt form and other factors so api screening is also done using the dissolution testing new doses form development this new doses form development requires dissolution testing without dissolution testing it is not possible to develop a new doses form and also to develop a superior doses form or novel formulations then dissolution testing is utilized for selection and optimization of suitable composition and manufacturing process so if you are dealing with the solubility enhancement that time you will come to know that dissolution testing is to be developed so that you can screen the composition and you can screen the manufacturing processes and based on the outcome of the dissolution testing you can select the suitable composition and the manufacturing process then coming to the another point dissolution is critical for batch release in the market and batch to batch quality reproducibility when the product is developed and routine manufacturing is started then dissolution becomes very very critical for the batch release in the market and also it ensures the quality of the product and reproducibility of the process that is batch to batch quality reproducibility if every batch is passing the dissolution criteria that means the process is robust and it is confirming to the quality then it is used for comparison of the different formulations suppose you are comparing a tablet formulation versus capsule formulation or immediate release formulation with a modified release formulation then dissolution testing is the key to understand the different formulations and what are the differences then dissolution testing is used for product development that means the product may be new or a generic version of the reference product that time dissolution testing is having much more importance then dissolution testing is used for the assessment of formulation sources assessment of formulation sources means manufacturing uh, site or manufacturing procedure or process so that can be assessed through formulation dissolution testing establishment and assessment of shelf life stability of the formulations many times we understand that impurity studies are important for shelf life assessment but in addition to the impurities dissolution testing is also used to assess the shelf life and stability of the formulations because if the product is conforming to the impurity criteria or related substances criteria and if it is failing in the dissolution then shelf life more than the stability period conforming to the dissolution cannot be assigned because in shelf life period the dissolution criteria should be fulfilled by the formulation that's why dissolution testing is must for stability testing then in vitro in vivo correlation development dissolution can guide for in vitro in vivo correlation it also guides for iv ivc that is in vitro in vivo correlation de correlation development and also to understand the differences between the formulation like generic formulation and the reference product what are the differences in dissolution or 
इट मे गाइड फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सुटेबल मॉडल फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इन वाइवो बिहेवियर ऑफ द फॉर्मुलेशन बेस्ड ऑन द इन विट्रो डिजोल्यूशन टेस्टिंग डिजोल्यूशन स्टडी इज यूज फॉर स्टडी ऑफ चेंजेस इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग साइट प्रोसेस स्केल अप एंड स्केल डाउन इट इज डिजोल्यूशन टेस्टिंग गाइड्स यू फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड डिटेक्टिंग एनी चेंजेस इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग साइट प्रोसेस स्केल अप एंड स्केल डाउन ऑल्सो इट इज यूज टू जस्टिफाई द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ चेंज इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग साइट प्रोसेस स्केल अप स्केल डाउन एटीसी ऑन द प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी इट ऑल्सो गाइड्स फॉर द सिलेक्शन ऑफ बेस्ट पैकेजिंग सिस्टम if you have make a made a batch or manufactured a batch and if you are putting it on a stability in different packaging systems and you get to know that in one of the packaging system the quality attributes are meeting for dissolution testing and in the other packaging it is not then based on that the packaging system can be designed why because dissolution testing is important for understanding the in vivo behavior that's why the packaging system is to be developed like in stability studies packaging studies are also done and dissolution testing is much more important for concluding the packaging systems dissolution testing is also required for bioequivalence study waivers generally we call it as bio waiver where the requirement of bioequivalence study is waived or it is not required to perform the examples are bcs based biowaivers and the biowaiver for the strains other than the bioequivalence strain that means if you are developing a four strains considering 100 mg 75 mg 50 mg and 25 mg and you are doing a study of bioequivalence on 100 mg then dissolution study is required to have a bioequivalence on the lower strains or the strains other than the bioequivalence strain the bcs based bioequivalence is very very dependent on the dissolution testing if dissolution testing meets the criteria or dissolution of the product meets the criteria of bcs based bioever then you may get the bioevers otherwise the bioever cannot be given that's why dissolution testing is much more important for the bioevers dissolution testing may indicate the clinical relevance for many of the product this dissolution testing has a great importance in understanding of the clinical relevance then dissolution is the topic of interest and is important in all the stages of life cycle of the product like r and d take transfer manufacturing stage and the life cycle stage there are different types of dissolution based on the importance and their requirement or you may call it as a aim of dissolution study the dissolution is defined uh, is uh, described as bioequivalent dissolution discriminatory dissolution quality control dissolution and dissolution for alcohol dose dumping so bioequivalent dissolution is performed to understand the effect of the biological media or gi fluid on the dissolution of the formulation to mimic the gi environment or in vivo environment bioequivalent dissolution is performed then discriminatory dissolution is done to understand the differences between the good batches and the bad batches then quality control dissolution is required for routine quality control of the manufactured batches and for the 
product release into the market. Then multimedia dissolution is also done to understand the effect of pH on the formulation behavior and dissolution testing. And alcohol dose dumping dissolution is done to understand the effect of alcohol in the media for some of the modified release doses forms and for delayed release type of doses forms. So all these dissolution testing involves the specific importance and specific relevance to the in vivo testing, to the stability, to the process or manufacturing or composition. That's why the dissolution is much more important in all the stages of the product life cycle. Thanks for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to Pharma Learning in Depth. Thank you.